everyone, welcome back to another week of The Electro Lurker. This week, let's just jump right into it. This week, the debate on Vertifight continues. For those of you who are uh, just turning, tuning in, we've been having this kind of debate about whether a Vertifight should come to the States. And, you know, there's two different sides. Some people are saying, well, it'll push dancing forward. But other people, and especially a lot of the, uh, the older people who are more into freestyle, are saying that it'll change the mentality of the scene and the whole mentality of the dance. So there's been this kind of debate going on. And this week, some uh, events took place that definitely do not put Vertifight in a good light. First event that took place was Dance Generation Germany Dissolved. Juzaz Ustal decided to dissolve it, announced it yesterday. And one of the reasons that he gave in his statement was that a lot of the dancers out there are apparently uh, just too focused on Vertified or Vertified is all they're focused on. And that's why he decided to dissolve it and just focus on Berlin. So basically what happened is Vertified Germany was announced in February. Four months later, the dance generation dissolves. Coincidence? I don't know. Probably not. And then over in the United States now, uh, a dancer who's pretty popular released a video, and uh, this is what he had in his description. And I, I want to say that uh, I'm not mentioning his name, and I kind of changed the, uh, the words around to protect his identity. But if you know who this is, I'm not dissing this guy or anything. I'm not like calling him out or making fun of him. I'm just bringing this up because I think that it kind of uh, goes with what we're saying and complements this whole debate. And again, I want to just stress that this is like a pretty well-known dancer. This isn't just like some one-off guy in a barn in Arizona somewhere dancing in front of like chickens or something. It's like a popular guy. So this guy wrote... In the description of his vid, check out my new Vertified style, no more show style. So again, like I said, I'm not calling this guy out or dissing him. But as you can see, a couple weeks ago on the Electro Lurker, I was saying that like, you know, dancers are going to leave freestyle and start focusing more on battling. And I think that this particular description is a, a sign of the times. It proves that, you know, things are starting to change. And then now people view like a Vertified style as being hard. And they view like Alexo style as being soft. So uh, that description in the, that particular video description def definitely jumped out at me. And then you add this to the whole cyber war that started last week over battles. And then you add this to the spokes comment on that one uh, Vertified video. And Vertified definitely uh, is being portrayed in a very particular light uh, after you uh, combine all those things. But then on the other hand, Vertified Italy took place, I think, yesterday. And, you know, seeing all these videos coming up, you can't help but think, like, uh, if it wasn't for Vertified, you know, there's there a good chance you probably wouldn't even know about all these dancers. I mean, like, there's other uh, competitions or tournaments in Italy, but Vertified is definitely the big one. And they're also, like, the big one in Europe. If it wasn't for Vertified, you know, who knows if, like, Artifice Style and Addict and Electro Street and all these guys would be known in America. So I guess there's a, there's the two sides right now. So again, the, the debate continues. And then finally, I'd like to end this week off on a bit of a happier note. The hardest video of the week comes to us from this guy named Hare. And uh, this guy first stumbled upon him one day. I was just lurking around in YouTube, kind of following links in the sidebar. And then I stumble onto this video, this guy coming out with like a trench coat and those like huge ass knee high boots that industrial kids wear. And I was like, yo, this guy looks like he's going to shoot up a school or something. But then as I started learning more about like industrial culture and everything, I realized the significance of what this guy was doing because uh, 
Again, going back to the Spice Boy article on the Dance Gen USA website, the, uh, the, the whole goth culture and industrial culture was kind of like a precursor to the electro culture that grew in Metropolis. So this guy, he's kind of like the link between that like old world and the new world. Because even though he does electro dance, he uses a lot of like that goth aesthetic and a lot of like the styles from industrial dancing. So uh, pretty sick there. I would highly recommend checking that out. Also, uh, if you got time, maybe doing a search for industrial dancing is pretty cool stuff. And then what else? Oh yeah, finally, one last thing. Last week I mentioned uh, how a bunch of us had an idea to do this kind of North American Milky Way tribute. And Van Reptar has actually stepped up and uh, agreed to edit this video. And he said that, uh, and he gave a deadline date of July 4th. So I don't know if that's when he wants all the footage by or if that's when the actual video is coming out. So uh, anyway, yeah, there's a, if you go on the Dance Generation USA Facebook page, there's a thread on there that he made. So you can ask him about all the details. But uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty fun project. The goal of this project, hopefully, is to get a comment from Spoke, SMDB Spoke on YouTube. That's kind of like a, one of the main goals of this. So it should be pretty fun. So anyway, yeah, I'll see you next week. Peace. Yeah.